Invite-only indicators are a powerful resource for those of you who code in PineScript. Now, let us start from the beginning here by showing you our Pine Editor, which we've just opened up. And within our Pine Editor, you can see all of the code that we have added to our specific indicator. This indicator is called Chart VWAP. It's actually open source. You can find it in the Indicators, Metrics, and Strategies menu. In fact, if you type in Chart VWAP right here, you're going to see our exact script right here, coded by TradingView. But nevertheless, the code is here, it's open source, and if we wanted to publish this so that it was essentially walled off or guarded or protected and only given access to specific people, well, the first thing we'd wanna do is make sure we know that we've coded it and tested it and that it works. Then we're gonna to wanna to add this to our chart so that we can see the indicator right here before our eyes. So now it has been added to our chart and we can even see the indicator name here. And then the next thing we're going to want to do is publish the indicator. Now that we are ready to publish the indicator, we have a few key steps here to walk through. The first thing is that we can publish this as a brand new script. So this would be our title then we'd want to give it a very thorough description. In fact, if you are publishing indicators on TradingView, it is essential that you write out very thoughtful scripts with the key description about everything it does, why it's unique and how it works. So we would type that all here. This is an example of a script. And we would ideally want to write at least quite a bit more than this so that people know exactly what they're getting. Also, this is a part of the Pine community that you create scripts that are easy to understand, that are unique and can be articulated in this text area. Okay, but if we wanted to update an existing script, well, we could essentially pick our specific script, chart view app, add the update here, some key details about what's changing. And keep in mind, you can also see the changes here side by side or in line. Essentially, this will give viewers the opportunity to see exactly what's changed. Okay, but for this script, we're pretending that we are publishing a new script because we're showing you how to do invite only scripts. Now, what we're gonna, going to want to do is select a specific category. Now, considering that this is chart VWAP, we're probably going to want to find the category for us. VWAP is volume weighted average price. So it makes sense for us to check volume. In fact, we could go through this volume, the subcategories here and find some other very important aspects to check. We're also gonna check volume indicator and volume weighted average price. Now we're walking you through each step here because it's super important that you do this correctly. That is the best way to keeping the PineScript community active, to keeping everything detailed and unique. Make sure you put a lot of time and effort into this to make it as clear cut as possible. Now we're gonna click continue and this is where it all begins. You have been watching this video to understand that this is where the invite only access begins right here. We're gonna walk you through this page so that you know exactly what to do. First of all, you wanna pay attention to the aspect of having the script public or private. If you do public, it means that the script will be shown on your profile and within the TradingView library. So anyone can essentially find it if they search the right keywords or head to your TradingView profile. But this is where it gets interesting because you can have it public and open, which would mean that your source code is also open. This would be open source. So it's public, it's discoverable everywhere, it can be found anywhere. And the code that you've written is also open. Anyone can see that code, they can analyze it, they can utilize it in how they want. It's open source for everyone. Or you could have it protected. This would mean that your script is still public, but the code is totally walled off. There's a lock in front of it. Not everyone can see the source code. It even says right here, your source code will be hidden. So people can still favorite the script, they can apply it to their chart, but only you can see or modify the source code. Now there is another option. You can, for example, do invite only. So if you have a public script that's invite only, well, that means that not only can users not see the actual code, 
but they also won't be able to even use the script without getting specific access for you. And this is where invite-only indicators are really important to understand because you're gonna have this box here that says author instructions. You want to type in the instructions for how to get access to the script. So for example, you can only get access to this script if you send us a DM and explain why you need access. Now this is just a hypothetical example, but the point is that we are writing out why someone could get access to the script. It is invite only. That means only we, TradingView, as the creators of the script, can grant access to specific people. Now it's much bigger than this. Some people might actually sell specific scripts. So to get access to this script, you have to be a member. This is the way some people utilize their scripts. They create membership options around their script. You can do this just like this. Make sure it says invite only. Now, there are a few key details here, though, that you want to pay attention to because we've shown you all this with public checked off. Why don't we do private? Well, if we click private, you can see here your publication will only be visible to you and those whom you share its link. So now you can make an invite only private script. This is about as hidden, as out of the TradingView community as it gets, literally only people you grant access to will be able to see it. It will not be public on your profile. It will not be found in the indicators, metrics, and strategies menu. It is totally private, hidden on your profile, and only people who you grant specific access to will be able to get that script. And you can, of course, type in all of this in the author's instructions so that your specific community can understand how and why they can gain access. Remember, be detailed here. Make sure people know what's going on so that they can get access and not have to ask too many questions or be confused. Lastly, you can add some specific tags here if you wish. And if you are a paying member with the signature feature, you can add in your signature which attaches to the bottom of the script. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you publish a script from start to finish, the basics of opening your Pine Editor, of typing in the exact code that you want to have as the system for the script or strategy you create, then of course publishing that indicator, walking through each step, and ultimately getting to the point whereby you can make your script invite only, which is, of course, one of the more in-demand ways to create scripts on TradingView because you can make it private, invite only, and thus only give specific people access to the script. So it's yours, it's protected, and only specific people can get access. Now, we are just going to give you one final quick example of the public library because we did talk about scripts being open source, we also did talk about scripts being protected. And as you can see, when we open the indicators, metrics, and strategies menu, then click community, we can actually see some of the scripts other people are creating. Now, generally, all of the scripts you see here are going to be totally open source and totally available to you. So you can see here, editor's picks, there's also top, and there's also trending. So you can find new scripts as you need right here from the indicators, metrics, and strategies menu. and Keep in mind that as an open source script, when you click source code here, you can see the script right here. It is open source. Now, this is a wonderful contribution to the PineScript community. This user is giving their open source code to traders and investors globally. So it's really important that you cherish this, that you value it, and that you follow correct attribution instructions, that you make sure you are you know, giving this specific coder the boosts, likes, and comments that they deserve for doing such a good deed for everyone. And also, of course, by making sure that you follow all of the information in the PineScript user manual so that you are doing everything correctly. To end this video, we're gonna go ahead and open up the PineScript user manual so you can really get a feel for what's here. You get this introduction and you can then get to the PineScript primer. You can see the first steps to getting started. So if you've never coded a script before, this is a rather helpful place to start your journey. And you can use the table of contents here off to the left to really get started and to find the sort of next steps you need to get started. You can even search for specific topics right here in the search as well. 
So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we hope this premiere to invite-only scripts, but also PineScript as a whole and the community around it gets you started and shows you what it takes to create these scripts, to get them published, and whether or not you want them to be public or private, open source or protected, or even invite-only, which gives you the capability to invite specific people to your script. So thanks for watching.